Hi, everybody. Good Thursday. I thought I would come on today for a little bit and do a live sales slash auction. Um, it is, um, I was going to come on at four. Um, I got caught up in a few things. It's 422. So I figured we'll see if anybody's around. Um, yeah, I have a lot of books and stuff today. I've been going through some stuff um, the last day or so. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hi, Kim. Hi, Gail. Thank you for the beautiful friend mail. <laughs> Let me grab my little table. I have a lot of books today, too, so I'll... I'll grab my little table to put some on so I don't have to keep reaching. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Hi, Joan. I'm good. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'll have to look, Tammy. I haven't really been looking at my phone lately. I just turned it on to the, well, I tied it on, but I didn't look.
I'm not sure if anybody's into um, DVDs. I still buy DVDs because I can play them on my Blu-ray player. But my dad, um, I figured I would see if anybody on here wanted these. Um, my dad gave me these um, the other day. He's like, well, if you don't want them, you can sell them on your thing or whatever. <laughs> um, it's a five pack of the Godzilla trilogy, I guess, or whatever you call it. Um, I'm not really into Godzilla. Um, it's not like horror movies. You know, I don't like horror movies, but I'm not really into those. Like, I know some of you guys maybe like this, what is it, like science fiction? It's, I guess, I don't, I think th there must be the old ones or, you know, whatever. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla's Revenge, um, Terror of... Mecha Godzilla special bonus DVD <laughs> Rodin. So I don't know if anybody's into Godzilla or anything like that, but I do have a ton of um, DVDs and Blu-ray. You guys know I'm starting to go through stuff slowly but surely. Um, um, you know, um, the shift I work, it's like I I usually, I pay for, um, um, I pay for uh, Netflix and Hulu and all that, and I hardly ever watch that. I'm always on YouTube watching videos or, you know, I love my murder she wrote. <laughs> I even watch it on, they have it on YouTube now too, so. Um, but yeah, if anybody's interested, like, um, I still do pick up, um, movies, you know, like, you know, the Goonies, I've seen it like a thousand times. I have it on Blu-ray and DVD. I had it on VHS. It's one of those movies I'll buy, like anytime something new comes out. Um, it's one of those ones I keep, you know, that I can watch a million times. Uh, but there's a lot of them, you know, I don't watch anymore. If anybody's interested, you guys can just let me know and maybe I can pull out DVDs and, uh, Blu-ray and stuff like that. Um. And the same for you guys. If you have any old Blu-rays and stuff, you know, DVDs or whatever, you're, um, you can sell on your channels. Um, but yeah, I have a ton. So, but anyways, um, we could start with this if anybody's interested in Godzilla. I might be slow. It's been a while since I did this. I got to get my. Yeah, I'm kind of the dumb 80s movies. Not 80s, but like I'm kind of like, like those goofy movies I can watch a million times. Like The Goonies. Um, what else do I have? Anything with Dolly Parton. I love Dolly Parton. Um, uh, Nine to Five, you know, of course. What else do I have? You know, all the Murder, She Wrote, obviously. Um you know, I have like the Christmas classics, you know, Bambi or not Bambi, but uh, what, what are they called? Um, Rudolph, you know, all those Christmas classics. Um, Frosty. Um, what else do I have? Uh, what's her name? Uh, she does the horror shows. You know, I love all those kind of stupid. You don't have to think about it. Elvira, you know, Mistress of the Dark. I just love all those ones. Okay. Yeah, they're still on the table, Joan. I didn't box them up or anything, Joan. Um, I just put them, you know, I just left the tags in them and they're sitting on the table.
this one's in color. Yes, I do, Gail. <laughs> um, trying to think what other kind of campy, you know, movies I have. Um, of course, um, what's the one with um, Julia Roberts where she passes away? Steel Magnolias. Fried green tomatoes, I love. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Miss Sandra, Sandy. Gone with the wind, of course. Have to have that. <laughs> Any Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, I have this book here. It's called 10,000 Garden Questions. Um, answered by 20 experts. Um, it's got all kinds of diagrams and stuff, and I'm trying to find the year. It's um, copyrights from 1944, the first copyright. Um, and this one is from 1974. But it's got all kinds of diagrams and... Maggot talks about maggots and how to, you know, how to get rid of all that stuff and growing inside and Have you seen the second part, Gail, um, called Scarlet? Of course, it doesn't have the original cast, but I still like it. Um, this is the 10,000 Garden Questions Answered by Experts. It took a little getting used to. Um, Scarlet, you know, after watching, you know, the original for, you know, four hours. And then, you know, it took a, a, least a good 30 minutes for me, you know, 45 minutes um, to, you know, watch a new cast, you know. <laughs> Christmas cactus. What kind of soil is best suited uh, to Christmas cactus? Corn earworm. Uh, Miss Kim for one dollar. Thank you, Kim. Corn earworm. I never heard of that before. A large brown to green worm with distinct striping.
I have these two, um, I would call these vintage. Um, one is um, a barrel full of the most popular bears from the pages of Country Handcraft, a teddy bear book. Um, this is patterns and the other one is more of a magazine with different patterns and stuff. I think it's more wood. Oops. There's one of the patterns that's never been taken out. Um, I've never heard of Jan Brett. Um, What does she make books about, uh, Gail or he? Because I know Jan can be a boy's name too. Um, and this one, this magazine is called Tol, Tol World. I think this is more, um, it's about painting and wood crafts and all different kinds of um, crafting projects painting on linen and there's patterns to make the the uh, wooden witch there's quilts it's all different it's actually all different kinds of um there's the pattern in there for the witch. This one is called, I don't know if there's a, if there's a date in here. This is from 1991. Um, this one. This one's from 85. Oh, I know. I skimmed through it last night, Gail. I love the um, the wreaths using just the the jar tops. Um, I should take some pictures or scan it onto my computer and put some of them onto the um, Crafty Mess uh, Facebook page so other people can, um, might, you know, do some of the projects. And Miss uh, Kim for one dollar. Uh, 
Um, let me see. Sorry, I'm still discombobulated. Just trying to do the timer on my phone has got me all. <laughs> Um, I have this book here. It's called The Best Holiday Crafts Ever. Um, <laughs> um, it shows kids, but a lot of, you know, these crafts can be adopted towards us, too, and stuff. There, or it gives me, at least it's given me um, inspiration, you know, to do other things or to adapt, you know, the more grown-up kind of things or if you have children to, you know to do with your children and grandchildren like the little chicks in the hole um there it's actually a big book for one of the kids books it's 176 pages celebrating kwanzas actually got a lot of you know a rice wreath ornament Jeez, I'll wreck the house. I like the colors I used in this because, you know, sometimes you get these kids' books, you know, to do the crafts, and they're kind of dull looking. If I was a kid, I wouldn't want to look at it. <laughs> a newspaper owl. That's cute. Earth, Earth light catcher. Hmm. I'm not really sure what that is. It's an earth light catcher, it says. Seedling necklace. Oh, that's cute. A handprint lamb. Stuffed bunny friend. The best holiday. Kathy Ross offers a collection of 76 simple yet satisfying holiday craft projects. Valentine's, Easter, Earth Day, Halloween. <laughs> okay. Uh, Miss Dawn. Uh, Easter, Earth Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa. Wow. Thank you, Miss Don. That's why I like getting books, you know, now because of, um, what do they call it? Media mail. We don't have to kill ourselves with um, shipping. Okay. I have this magazine here. It's called, uh, it's by the Editors of Life. I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in this, but I thought it was interesting. Um, it's got some nice pictures. Um, it's by the Editors of Life, um, Great Battles of the Civil War. It's got a lot of nice pictures in it. It's from 1961. They have maps and, you know, all that, of course. And 
it's thick paper. It's not like a magazine or anything from today. It's like a special edition or whatever they call it. Great Battles of the Civil War. Let's pull out, pull out map or Cumberland Gap. picture there. Okay. Uh Miss Kim, two dollars. Thank you, Miss Kim. I love this book, but I've gotten so many craft books and stuff like this because you guys know I love dolls and all, you know, miniatures and all that. But I figured, you know, I can get rid of some. <laughs> I just love the cover. They're so cute and sweet. Oh, it's called uh, Beautiful Animal Dolls. I just love, you know, her little, you know, I love the Victorian movies and her shows. Um, you guys know that. Downton Abbey and stuff, you know, kind of reminds me. Um, but you guys know how it is. You find so many of these books, um, when your bookshelves start to sag, you know, <laughs> so, but there's some beautiful, and I haven't learned to sew yet or, you know, make these. So I figured, you know. But all the patterns are in here. Let me see. But I love the dolls. I wish I could do that. Look at the elephant.
Love that bird there. Okay, no interest in this one. Okay. Do a few other things. I have this little decorative um, drum. It's attached, it's new. Um, it's just like for little kids or decorative. I was gonna donate it because I donated a bunch of stuff to the church the other day. Um, but I figured I'd see if anybody was interested on here first because I'm starting another box um, to donate. But I thought it was kind of cute, so. I thought I'd see if anybody was interested in on here before I. It's just a little, um, you know, a little, it doesn't really make any noise. I think it was more decorative than, or for, you know, like a little baby or something maybe. You know, these are like styrofoam. little sequins up here. Uh, Miss Kim for two dollars. <laughs> it doesn't make any noise, Kim. Um, I have a thing of gold ribbon. It is um, wire jumbo ribbon, uh, two and a half inches by 100 feet. Fifty five per cent metallic, forty five per cent nylon.
Oh, sorry. Wire jumbo ribbon. Oh. Okay. Uh, Miss Tammy for one dollar. Thank you, Tammy. I have a couple of these. Um, well, they're both different, but I thought these were kind of interesting. Um, I like Precious Moments. These are these are the collector's um, guides uh, with all the Precious Moments. I thought they would be kind of cute um, to cut out if you wanted to. Um, you know, they have all the Precious Moments in there. I think this tells you like the pricing and stuff if you collect them. Um, Of course, these were prices back in. I don't know when this book is from. Actually, this is the first edition, it says. So this is number one. This one's from 1988. So this is from, this is the first edition. So this is the first one that came out. This is from 1975 through 1983. So it's got all the first uh, precious moments. So if you do collect precious moments and, um, so I thought that was interesting. So, like I said, they make good cutouts too. Cause you know, they're cute characters and They have some big pictures and then some are smaller. So if you're using them, you know, for a card or something. Even shows the plates. Oh, that's cute. Shows them on top of a wedding cake. That is cute. They are cute. Oh, I love that one. It looks like Kim's buying this, but I got to write down this one. It's called Mother So Dear. She's sewing a little... um. What do you call that with the round thing? I got to write that down because I want to look on eBay and see if I can find one. <laughs> you got oh, Miss Kim for $1. Thank you, Miss Kim, because you guys know I love sewing. Even though I can only sew by hand, I still haven't used my sewing machine yet. But I love anything to do with sewing. Um, but, yeah, I need to go through this. You guys know I'm... Thank you, Kim. You guys know um, I'm selling some of these on um, Etsy. Um, and they're cute. It's hard to part with some things. Um, but yeah, it's like I love that one. If I had that one, I would never get rid of it. The sewing one. I'm going to write that name down. I'll probably look through this book before I send it out to you. <laughs> I just want to see if I can find that one on eBay later. I didn't, I never, I didn't look at this book. I just kind of skimmed through it. Mother so dear. That's cute. Like I don't have enough stuff. <laughs> Kim. Let's 
since <laughs> since you're the only one that bid it on that one, would you like the other one for a dollar too, Kim? Um, it's this one here. This one is from it's this is celebrating 10 years. Um, it's from 1988. This one's all in color. The other one was, you know, mostly in I'd get her one if it came in too, Kim. Um, I have this book here. It's um, the complete book of papercraft, over 50 designs for homemade paper, cards, gift wrapping, decoupage, and manipulating paper. Oops, sorry. Sometimes I move too fast. Just kind of skim through fast, and then I'll... Oh, I like that card. For every one I get rid of, I get 10 more in its place. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Battering. Okay, no interest in that one. Uh, oh, I got, um, I got this box today in the mail of, um, Cozy Mysteries.
seems like everybody's sick with something lately. Um, I have this book. It's called The Bible Story. Um, it does have some damage up here on the spine. It's intact, but this part's missing. Um, it's got some beautiful pictures. This one, this book is from 1954. Um, I have these vintage books here about football. Um, there is the spines are um, getting old. They're coming um, undone a little bit. They're smaller. Um, let me see. Um, they're seven by five. This one's called Defensive Football by Lewis R. Oceans, football coach from Brooklyn College, 1927 to 1947. Um, this is from 1949. It tells about, you know, all the plays and how to play you know, the defensive and These are 1949. Man for man defense.
Okay, a uh, little puppy dog uh, coaster set. It's got the little um, four coasters. The little holder. Whoop. Get my fingers to work. Okay, uh, Miss Kim for one dollar. I have a three pack of the Melty Bead Kits, um, 78 pieces. Uh, these are from Michaels. Place, placer, iron.
uh, Miss Kim. I have a um, Tinkerbell um, photo album. Um, I, it just says Tinkerbell. <laughs> I thought it said something different. It's still in the package. It's just a, I mean, you can do anything you want with it, but it's just a regular um, photo album. You know, you flip your pictures on both sides. Still wrapped up. She's kind of 3D there. You can put a picture behind there if you wanted to or whatever. It's from Disney, of course. Uh, doesn't say how many photos it holds. Oh, there's the side. Trying to find something and I forgot where I put it. Oh, there it is. Um, I found some more of these coaster packs that we had last time that were three for a dollar. Um, if anybody's interested in any more of these, I have the Cheers. We had the wedding ones, but those are all sold out. Um, what do you get? I think there's 12. Is it 12? They're four by four. You get 12 in each. Cheers and the best day ever. 
Um, I was doing those three for a dollar. Um, I'll just put in um, go and a dollar if anybody wants any more of those. Um, just put me. Um, those were the uh, best day ever. You get 12 in each. They're the like cardboard. You can use them for you guys are more crafty than I am. So obviously you guys were going to do something with them besides, you know, just as coasters <laughs> or use the backside and decoupage or whatever you do with them. Which ones did you want, Kim? Or does it not matter? Okay. Does anybody else want a set of the coasters? Does anybody else want a set of the three for a dollar coasters? Um, there's 12 in each, uh, best day ever and, uh, the cheers. They're the hard cardboard and they're, uh, four by four, I think we said. Yep. Four by four. They are 50 part paperboard, whatever that means. Okay. Which ones do you want, Tammy, or does it matter? Um, I have, I had some uh, wedding ones, but um, but um, uh, Tam or. Ugh. Uh, Katie bought those last time, so I just have the uh, best day ever and the uh, cheers. Okay. I have this vintage book here. Um, it is inscribed to Catherine from Raymond, December 25th, 1910. Um, it's called The Man from Brodney's. Uh, let me see. There's a picture in there. Um, let me see. It's from copyright 1908, Printing in America. Um, I don't think there's any pictures in it. I liked the cover and stuff. Oh. I guess there are some pictures throughout. You know, they have those glossy sheets. I guess there are some throughout the 
You just have to find them. The end. And they have some old ads in the back. I love the cover, though. Hi, T. How are you? Um, the man from Brodney's. It sounds like a store. I'm not sure if it is or if it's a place or what. George Barr McCutcheon. There's the inscription. I love the feel of this paper. It's that thicker paper. You buy a, I buy a um, paper bag today, or even a hardcover. You know, not hardcover so much. They're still a little bit thicker, but a paper bag and the, the paper is so thin. You know, even a paper bag today, you pay like ten dollars. You know, and it's like the paper is so thin. I mean, I understand. I feel bad for our trees and stuff, but I still like to hold a book. Uh, Mrs. Joan for $2. Thank you, Joan. Let me see. I have this little frame here. Um, it's a rainbow. Uh, I had a few of these before. This is the last one. Um, follow your dreams. It just uh, can hang or it's got a little stand. Um, and then you can hook a note or a picture or whatever. Get my phone back on. It's pretty rainbow with the clouds. Uh, I think, yeah, this came from Michael's too. Follow your dreams.
rainbow. No interest in the rainbow today. Um, I have a set of these books, which I love, um, but I've had for quite a while. I'm going to do, I don't know if I, if, you know, I might be explaining this for nothing. I don't know if you guys will have any interest in these, um, but I'm going to do like Tammy and uh, Katie and a lot of other people do. Um, instead of go, doing book by book, I have one, two, three, four, five, I think there's seven here. Um, seven books. They're all from the same collection. It's called Country Style, American Country. Um, there's Country Style, Country Decorating, um, a Country House Tour, Folk Art, Country Furniture, um, Country Kitchen, Country Crafts, Country Home. I love all the books. Uh, I love all the, the pictures in here. Um, I just love looking at them. They're great for um, scanning and, you know, Obviously, guys, like I said, you're a lot better crafters than I am. The things you come up with to scan and um, scan and, uh, oh, my God, print and do things with, you know, it's like I wouldn't think of these things. Um, but I'm going to do like they do and just kind of like, you know, put up the dollar bid and have you guys bid up to what you want. That's if you're, you're even interested in any of these. And then whoever the highest bidder is or whatever, you can choose which book you want or if you want multiples. And then if there's other bidders, they can, you know, if they want any of them, they can choose. Um, like I said, maybe none of you might not even be interested in any of them. Um, but those are the ones I have. Um, they're all beautiful. Like I said, they're the country crafts. Um, a lot of them have the templates in them. Um, stuff like that, you know, and then there's country, sure, country, you know, all kinds of just, I love these books, but like I said, it's like sometimes you got to, <laughs> so I'll put that in. Um, they're from, I think they're all from the same year. Uh, oh, I love this picture. Sorry, <laughs> as you guys uh, as you guys always say, squirrel. Um, where's the copyright? That's weird. It should be right at the beginning. Oh, actually, these are from Time Life Books. Boy, this must have been expensive. Introduction. It tells, you know, obviously there's in this sewing, embroidery, rug making, paper crafting, painting, crafting natural materials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not even seeing where the date is, unless they put it in the back, because I've noticed every now and then the copyright will be in the back, and it. And that's where I think it is, which is kind of weird to me. Because there's information back here. So I think it's in the back. 1989. It's weird now. I think I learned it from one of you guys. It, it's in the back. I'm so used to seeing the copyright in the front. But I think I learned it from Katie or one of you guys. Um, yeah, that, you know, to look in the back, too. And I was kind of like in the back. Yeah, I love these books, and they're beautiful. So I'll just show you the pictures, and then I'll or I'll show you the front cover. This one's called Country Style. They're all country, so if you're not really into the country theme like I am, um, this one's Country Decorating. Oops, sorry. A Country House Tour. This one's folk art. 
and they have that nice kind of uh, like cloth. Oh, I love that. This one's called Country Furniture. I love this. Um, this one is the Country Kitchen and the Country Home. I wish that was my home with a big, you know. But anywho, I'll put in a dollar. If any, like I said, maybe none of you are interested in, but or yeah, whatever you call it. And all of them, you know, that they, they show you how to do um, this is the country kitchen one. And all of them, it shows you how to do crafts and stuff for different, you know, storage too. And Uh, bird or flowers? I'll have to look. I've been going through my book, so I can't remember which ones I uh, took out. And I still have a lot of books to go through. I'll check after. I don't remember which ones I took out. I know I took out some more crafting, you know, ones and Ooh, lemon. So no interest in any of these. Um, I don't have any of those, Katie, right now, but I have a lot of kids' books, and I have um, – oh, I can't even think. Yeah, I have a lot of kids' books out right now. Um,
goes the house. I know, I'm gonna... So what were you guys interested in seeing tonight? Um, I'm trying to do like you guys are doing now. I'm trying to, um, once I get my stuff together, I'm trying to do like the bundles you guys are doing. So that's, um, where did I put it? Trying to see what I have for crafty stuff. Um, I have a thing of ribbon here. Uh, this is two and a half inch by five yards. It's got the sil or not silver, but the pretty um, down the center. I have been picking up some wallpaper because um, I actually picked up some today because I do want to do some projects with wallpaper myself since you guys have got me into this. <laughs> I've been picking up fabric and trim, of course, you know, for myself too. But um, I like the way Katie and them do the bundles and stuff. I think it's pretty. So I've been doing that in different cards and all that stuff. So I just need to get off my butt and get enough of it together, of course. Um, um we don't have many, as, I don't think, you know, we have as many resources, you know, our towns are smaller, I guess, maybe than some, where some people live. 
um, where they can get more stuff. So, I, you know, it's hard to come by. Oops, no interest in that. Um, I'll show you guys um, some of the wallpaper I picked up and some of the, um, I'll show you guys some of the, um, oh, Tammy for $1 and I'll show you guys some of the fabric. Um, Cause I guess I want to um, cut it up, you know. And you'll see um, when I show you guys the fabric, you'll see it's all David. <laughs> and you'll be like, yep, that's a gay man. <laughs> um, like I said, I don't buy this stuff. I buy this crafting stuff like I don't have enough of it. I buy it for me. Um, you know, I might resell it, like I said, and take some of it and make these um things like Tammy and Katie do and a lot of the other ones, um, you know, the bundles or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I buy it for myself first. Even if I haven't done anything with the fabric, because <laughs> I don't know how to sew yet. Um, I might, you know, I might even, you know, it's like, Make, take little pieces and put it on a card or whatever I want to do, but you'll see I buy it for myself, but I'll show you guys some because I might, you know, make some into bundles and stuff. Um, but I'll show you this first. Um, this is a crafty thing. These are called, I thought this was cute when I got it. I didn't realize, I thought it was just the one thing. Um, it's called the Nested um, nested Soldiers, um, but they have it painted like Santa on here. It's wood. I mean, if you want to make it something else out of it, if you have more of an imagination than I do, um, you could probably take these. You know, if you could, if you have the imagination to see this as something else, you know, entirely different, you could take the arms off and paint it. But um, you know, it's like a nesting doll, and it comes with this. I think there's, I can't remember how many pieces are in here. Then it goes down to this. It's all pure wood. Then it goes down to this one, and I think there's one. There's one more in here. I know I'm not crafty enough to ever do that. I'm not really good at painting, so <laughs> I figure, you know, I'll put it on here. So somebody with a little more, you know. If this was like a cheap plastic or something, you know, from the dollar store, you know, or whatever, like I might have tried, you know, doing it. Uh, but I'm sure this was, you know, this is like real wood and it's heavy. I'm sure it was really expensive. So <laughs> I wouldn't want to ruin it, then have to throw it away. And, you know, so I was like, I'll let somebody else make it nice, you know, that knows what they're doing. Rather than have a sloppy mess and then throw it away because, you know.
good. Okay, no interest in him. These are the big rolls of wallpaper I have. And then I have a lot of, not a lot, but you know, I love this one. I won't take it out. I love this one's kind of got that satin So those are the four big ones I got. And then I got some uh, um, borders. Um, I think these are all wrapped, so I won't untake them until I'm ready to use them. But I like the florals, obviously. <laughs> So I think I got two, I found two of those and they have the um, kind of the, not scalloped, they're kind of fussy cutted, I guess you could call it, like around the flowers on the top. So I can't wait to use some of these on a card, like an underlayer or whatever you want to call it. Um, I kind of got like one of those, I think everybody had this in their kitchen or something at one time or they knew somebody, you know, the fruits. Um, then there's a different floor. I love the roses on that one. I love that rose. Uh, there's another. This one has a little apple basket. Okay, I think that's, that's a bigger one than the other one I showed you. This one's a more of a masculine one. I love this one. Um, I'm not a big baseball fan, but I love the vintage kind of, you know, that Victorian kind of look. I think that's the same as the other one I showed you. And then there's this, I love this flip. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start to do the packs or whatever, Katie. Um, I just bought these for myself, like I was telling the girls, so if they notice. Um, but they just wanted to see what I had. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show them the fabric I've bought, too, for myself. That's why I told them. It's like when I buy stuff, I buy it for me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to start doing like you, you and um, Tammy and, you know, some other people do. You know, and do the packs, too, or whatever. Um, yeah, but like they'll see with the fabric, it it screams me because you guys know what I like. Um, but I'm gonna start sharing some of it. Um, yeah, I love this one. I can't wait to open it. 
like I said, it's got that, not scalloped, but the, almost like, fan, uh, what do you guys call it? I just said it, fussy cut, you know, around the top. I got two of these. I can't wait to like put it behind it on a card. I'll show you the fabric. So yeah, I'll start to cut, you know, some of it. <laughs> they have a lot more fabric, but like I said, I buy this for me. It's not, I didn't buy it to sell. I don't buy anything to, you know, sell on here. I mean, obviously not, you know, a lot of stuff I sell for a dollar, um, you know, so it's not like I'm making, you know, $50, you know, for, you know, a, a penny thing. So, you know, um, But I did find some, um, um, well, I might sell some of it later, Katie, like with the other, with the wallpaper too, I'll cut it down. I, but the girls just wanted to see what I had. Um, they want me to do the packs too. Um, these, oh, I guess somebody did these. <laughs> these are what do you guys call these i guess she already did these someone did they're they're like they're quilted already like a, you know on both sides they have batting in between so i loved these i just wish she had you know I would love this as a quilt if it was full size. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's a, there's a strip of it. Who wants to buy a strip? <laughs> this one's huge. Oh my God. Wow. I didn't realize how big this one is. This one's got the batting. This one's got a bat. Um, the batting in between or whatever. Oh my God. Wow. I think I need to refold that after. Well, I don't think it's gonna be a bidding war over this little strip. <laughs> but it's uh, just, she did two sides in the batting in between. I guess that's how you start a quilt, I assume. <laughs> I 
Oh, I love this. This would have been gorgeous. I mean, she probably did make the quilt. This is probably the remnants from it. I love to see the quilt. Wow. How pretty would that look? I bought these journals at Michael's the other day. How pretty would that look, you know, to be like wrapped around as a cover if I didn't mess it up? Oh, okay. Uh, Miss Joan at 250. Thank you, Joan. There's even, um, what do they call that? Frozen they had there. <laughs> I love this one, it's watermelon seed. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. the bunny I like this. I'm not usually kind of, I like, I'm not really into wizards per se and stuff, but these, this is cute. This one's pretty. Like I said, they all scream me, you know. <laughs> that one there. There's Christmas ones too. I love this one. It's like a paper doll. This is a coffee themed one. No cat in the fishbowl. <laughs> Okay. Well, I should get off for today. I'll probably save all your orders and maybe I'll try to get some of that stuff cut up. I'll, I have Monday off, so I'll try to get it for Monday. Um,
I'll try to cut up some of that wallpaper and stuff. Or I might just I might just put your orders up too on Etsy just to make it easier. That way I don't lose stuff. And then I can just add to it on Monday or whatever. You guys will just know it's there like I usually do. So um and I have to go and I have to pay uh Tammy tonight and uh Katie, I think. I've been at a few sales this week, so 